shooting and standoff leads a Grand Island man hospitalized while his alleged attacker now goes before a judge. Steve White was in court today, joins us now live with the very latest. Steve, the guy they arrested, he's facing nearly 20 charges. Yeah, Colleen, that's spread out over three different cases from this weekend alone. He faces a dozen counts for firing multiple shots at multiple people, including one man who had to be hospitalized. Serving high-risk warrants and bringing in burglary suspects, the GIPD tactical response team has been busy this summer, and now comes a shooting and standoff. It was like right down the block. Not only was it Randy Reed's neighborhood, it was his friend, Lucas Galusha, who got shot. Yeah, Dad. he's my best friend. And how's he doing? He's doing all right, but don't know if he'll be able to stay at his house by himself. Like, he's going to have to have somebody be around to take care of him because he can't walk. Can't go to the bathroom on his own, so. 26-year-old Tyler Manka now faces a dozen charges, including attempted murder, assault, and use of a deadly weapon. Police say he fired multiple shots at Galusha. He got shot in the stomach and it came out of his back. So, I mean, is he in quite a bit of pain, would you say? Yeah, yeah, he is. He hasn't walked for three days, so. It started around 15th and Broadwell. Then police say Manka fled, barricading himself in a garage a few blocks away. He was then taken to the hospital and ultimately jail. After the same tactical response team seen here brought him in using pepper balls. In court, County Attorney Marty Klein asked for a high bond, in his words saying, quote, his history is lengthy and includes violent crimes and the public needs to be protected from this individual, end quote. The bond was set at 10% of $750,000. I came in to see what his bond was because it, it was like right down the block from my house where he hid, so I want to make sure that my buddy's going to be okay. Uh, police say Manka, the alleged shooter, sustained minor injuries and his hands were bandaged as he appeared in court today. The judge appointed the public defender to represent him. Steve, we thank you for your coverage.